Hello everyone, welcome back. Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. To those who are new, thanks for checking out my channel. If you've been following my channel for a little bit, then you might remember way back I started sharing my top books of 2020 by genre or category. And I did six out of 10 of those episodes and never really got back to them. So my hope is to finish those up by the end of this month. So today is episode seven, and I am going to share my top five autobiographies, biographies, and memoirs of 2020. Two of these titles made it into the top 20 list. Those were the memoir From the Ashes by Jesse Thistle and the biography Hidden Valley Road by Richard Kolker. And I won't take too much time to talk about these because I've already talked about them um, a few times. But if you are interested in the videos that they're in, I will leave links in the description box. The other three are all memoirs and they are in no particular order. And actually I'm just noticing, <laughs> I just realized that all three of them are actually from Canadian authors. So we have always been here by Samra Habib won Canada Reads in 2020, and I was so glad that it did. This memoir begins when Samra and her family are still living in Pakistan, and we learn about her childhood there, the roles of women, and the choice that her family made to move to Canada. And Samra shares the difficulty she's faced as a Canadian refugee and also trying to come to terms with her identity. This is a pretty quick read and it moves really well and most importantly I think it's a voice that we don't hear about. Um, next is another quick read which I have talked about before, Waiting for First Light by Romeo Dallaire. This is also a shorter book but it's a difficult topic. Romeo Dallaire shares what his life uh, is like after returning from the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. He continues to live with PTSD and it has effects every, it's basically affected every part of his life. And in this book, he makes himself very vulnerable and allows us to sit with him and his pain and suffering. And then the last memoir is Half Breed by Maria Campbell. This is a very powerful memoir. Um, Maria shares her life experiences as a Métis woman. And she shares stories about her childhood, growing up in her community in Saskatchewan, and um, with her sister, or sorry, with her siblings. Um, she married and had a daughter at a, quite a young age, and she shares stories about her marriage, how she became a sex worker, and her life of drugs and alcohol. Um, the story is not so much about these things happening, but why they happened. So this book is about survival from colonization, oppression, racism, and violence, and it still has, I think, a lot of relevance today. So please let me know what your favorite autobiographies, biographies, or memoirs of 2020 were. Um, is this a genre that you read a lot of? Have you read any of these books in particular? If so, let me know your thoughts. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.